This next question comes from David about SegWit and Batch32 addresses. Hi, Andrea. Social media brought attention to a transaction of $450 million with a transaction fee of less than 25 cents. A block explorer highlights that the transaction fees in this transaction were 30% lower by using SegWit. Meaning, uh, to clarify, David, that means that if this transaction did not use SegWit in its inputs, um, then it would have cost 30% more because it would have been 30% bigger um, in fees. Now, the Blog Explorer also says that a further 16% could be saved by using SegWit Batch32. Could you explain more about this upgraded protocol? So, SegWit Batch32 isn't an upgraded protocol, it's simply a different address format. And let me explain what's happening here. In order to make the transition to SegWit uh, more comfortable, um, an interim address proposal, uh, which is wrapped uh, SegWit addresses, um, was used. And what that means is that rather than having the native SegWit addresses, uh, a lot of wallets use SegWit where they wrap a SegWit address inside a pay to script hash. Address. So um, you'll see this um, online, for example, referred to as P2SH, and then in parentheses, uh, P2WPKH. And what that means is uh, P2WPKH, which is pay to witness public key hash, which is the SegWit address, in parentheses wrapped in P2SH, which is pay to script hash. An address that is like that, a SegWit address that is a wrapped SegWit address, starts with a three, um, and uh, that's a script address. It's a traditional Bitcoin script address that has existed since 2012, since P2SH was introduced. And inside the script that's actually wrapped is a SegWit script. Um, instead, however, you can use a native SegWit address. And a native SegWit address starts with BC1 and uses a batch 32 encoding. So when you see um, uh, an address that has a lot of lowercase alphabetic letters that start with BC1, uh, usually it's BC1Q, and then a whole bunch of lowercase letters, that is a batch 32 encoded uh, native SegWit address. Now, because that address is not wrapped inside a pay to script hash uh, address. It doesn't have a script hash in it, and therefore the address and the spending script are actually shorter, 16% um, shorter, because they don't include the script hash. And so when you spend from uh, money that has been sent to a native batch 32 SegWit address instead of a wrapped P2SH SegWit address, it costs 16% less because you have a 16% smaller uh, transaction because the inputs uh, don't have the full script hash in them. Um, but they, they immediately go to a native SegWit address. Of course, in order to do that, you have the other problem, which is Many wallets don't support uh, native SegWit batch 32 addresses yet. Um, and that's because they haven't been upgraded uh, fast enough. It's been two years now. Recently, someone visited the A. Antonov shop to buy uh, a product, and they said, I can't buy the product. My wallet doesn't recognize your addresses. Why are you using BC1 SegWit addresses? And the answer is, well, one, because I want to save 16%, and two, because I don't want to be stuck in the, in the past. The native SegWit addresses are the, the future of uh, Bitcoin, and therefore we should be using the most efficient um, address format that exists, which is native SegWit addresses. And if your wallet doesn't support native SegWit addresses two years after their introduction, you need a new wallet. And so part of my motivation of using those in the shop is so that I can go back to customers and go, hey, you need a new wallet. Um, and that's why you save 16% of space. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. 
all my work is shared for free. So if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.